Well, Maybe so Mario's overalls should be stonewashed to appeal to children. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe we should make a wet knuckle scoring album. <laughs> you guys. Yeah, Rob great. Zombie, do next soundtrack for us. <laughs> you guys. The begin prayer at route campaign. Oh, I'm sorry, that was too far. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. Stop mentioning things that happened in the 90s. <laughs> uh, that all can be summarized in one word very very efficiently. Yep. And, yep. At the end of every commercial. Take up, take up, take over and over. For a decade. For, for 10 years. For like, <laughs> pretty damn close. And that, uh, that sums up all of it. Like, attention span, nothing. Just keep going. So Nintendo, <laughs> at, at long last, decides they... What are you doing? I'm sorry. Maybe turn down my headphone volume or something. It's I do not know which of these is that one. Right. It's none of those. I know that. Uh, is that too loud? It's just like somebody screaming in my ear. Constantly. Well, this mic is particularly loud. I can I say that. Point That's commercial. <laughs> yes. That's all of them. Michael. I just want to hear Sega louder. Okay, here you go. Oh, yes. How's that? Yeah, that's beautiful. beautiful. You know, if I talk at a normal volume, it's really Whoa. loud. This one's kind of blowing up. Turn but it down, bro. I don't know how. Anyway... So the Nintendo finally gets around to change its advertising campaign, and it it's so much worse than anything Sega ever did, <laughs> because it's Nintendo trying to be cool, which is the saddest, like, just shake shake your head in despair, and you will never get it, and the ads were so bad that that's what inspired me. I will go, I'm going to start college, advertising major. <laughs> I have to go to Nintendo, and like, I, I took a year of advertising, I paid money for school at university not community college university to be an advertising major because these bothered me on such a profound level <laughs> and like so that's where the play it loud campaign began where they it, it, mm. that in itself play it loud Nintendo please mm. stop it's like you fuck know, you mom I'm playing video games loud and that I'm gonna al- challenge my grandpa to an unironic skateboard battle <laughs> in the half pipe yes. and of course he's like yeah right but then your grandpa one day just goes Okay. <laughs> Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. And then he stomps everybody, and you're like, this isn't fun or cool. This is just <laughs> stupid. So that all kicked off Music with, oh, God, all these, this commercial that kicked off the Play It Loud campaign starts with all these just text on the screen with with phrases like, give the world a wedgie. <clears throat> and then that's how, dude, they are, they are hip and with it. Yeah. They are the Japanese bee- businessmen have yes. their hands on the pulse of the 14 year old they in 1993. Are, they are the bee's knees. <laughs> and children should be seen and heard. And oh, then, they're right there for children's rights. And then they right. they're, they're under, underlining that it's for kids. Yes. I'm going to yell at my parents so much harder for this new system. <laughs> <laughs> and then at the end, it shows an old man shaking his head, and it's like, they can't hear you. <laughs> oh, and man. Then, wow. And then it kicks off with this, and it's it's an old man just reciting things you can't do because, man, teachers are the worst. <laughs> and that, and then it leads into a Butthole Surfer song, which they license. Wow. Music, no skateboarding, no shouting, no gum chewing, keep off the grass, you're not the animals have a nice day. Oh man, and then that's here, a pretty awesome. And then here comes the kid. Tell you how it is. Cue the butthole surfers. And this is happening all with cut, you know, quick cuts of uh, popular games, which admittedly were all fucking great games that do not match this. It's Mario, Metroid, <laughs> like and it's cut to the intro of Fight Club. Like, like well, they color it, they, and it's got it's colors. got every MTV filter you hated yeah. from the nineties, like all going crazy. And it keeps I like going. I think of that with Wanderers from Ease, like superimposed <laughs> over like yeah. butthole right. surfers. And so this was a popular song of the day. So. Now, song. it's a great song. Now, the now the entire this to me this entire marketing campaign crumbled on the first commercial because and in my heart of hearts at the time I was like, wow, this is it. Nintendo's really going to do this. They're going to like they're not going to be seen as the lame console anymore. I'm tired of like having to keep defending Nintendo's not a kitty console. Yeah, I know they they took the blood out of Mortal Kombat. I know they <laughs> even wanted to censor Street Fighters like minute amount of blood, but no, man, they are See, they're turning around, and Mortal Kombat 2 has blood. Like, they had just done, they had just allowed, like, Mortal Kombat 2, okay, yes, we will not censor this, and we will not impose anything on you. And then this happens. Do you know the chorus to this song? I wonder who was in my room last who night. The who the Who the hell? Who was in my room last night? Who the hell was in my room? Just hell. Or bed. Just the word hell. Or bed. I don't know which one it is. 
So it's building to that. And as a 14 year old, I'm like, oh, please don't. I'm already thinking they're they're not going to censor hell, are they? They can't possibly believe it. They be they didn't just um, remove it. They bleeped the fucking word. They bleeped they, hell. They wanted you to know there was a curse word there. In yeah, Nintendo, maybe that's dude, more. Yeah, we're not, yeah, that's yeah. right. We're not afraid to use yeah. a, a bad word like hell. They just put parental yeah, advisory enough. stickers on all their games. We curse no matter all the what. time when our parents aren't watching us. <laughs> yeah, all, all the time. time. Yo- Yoshi's <laughs> Island parental advisory <laughs> sticker. Well, the, well, it's funny to me this commercial too because I like I read the Game Over book uh, yeah. about it's Nintendo's a great book. history. And it it kind of just ends at the start of yeah. Super NES. Uh, yeah. Well, the well at least the original version. It, the, yeah. it gets updated by Andy Eddy, our good pal, who works here now. Yeah, but uh, but in the original version, just written by David Chef, Chef, it uh, it ends there. And like right bo- during as as the uh, as the Lieberman's campaign and uh, against Mortal Kombat begins, like yeah. Nintendo <laughs> completely throws Sony under the bus, uh, Sega under the bus. Oh for, yeah. Like, Hey, we only make games for kids. They're the ones out to attack attacking children. Mm-hmm. We're all good together. We're we're a family company. We're family. And then like within a year later they're doing this. <laughs> like they just gave up on it. It's just uh, Yeah, no, it's and, and it's it's because they were they were losing the lead bad. And Nintendo mm-hmm. does not lose. They like even me. when they're losing, they're not losing. Like and I, the, I, I say so right, that yeah. so right now they're winning. They cut eighty dollars off the price of the no, system. Like this is like no game. that that yeah. humility that Iwata has shown with the 3ds is the only time ever. Yeah, yeah. the Virtual Boy didn't get marked down this well, fast. Well, because Virtual Boy. Well, that's also because yeah. Yamauchi was right. He was the much hardest. Yes, like, he yes, looks yes. like the hardest Japanese businessman archetype you've ever seen. Yes, he mm. really, really was. Yeah. Back to topic. I have no idea what we were talking. about. We were talking about Bubsy. Who the bleep was in my room, which drove me up the wall. So that mm, that bothered me. So then, <laughs> just a few weeks later, Final Fantasy three comes out. Um, actually, probably around the same AKA time. AKA Final Fantasy six. If you six. were born you, after nineteen ninety six, if you're going to be one of those. Fuck excuse me, American foreigner. I have a correction to submit. Actually, no, you don't, because in the U.S. it was Final Fantasy three. So uh, deal with it. It's actually it's funny. They still, I think, because of like legal reason or just because they couldn't alter the ROM, it's still Final yeah, Fantasy three on still, virtual console. Well, they literally are what you played then, yeah. and they're not going to change that. That would cost a lot. Unless of money. there were Kawasaki ads in Wave Race, then they will go in and take those Kawasaki ads out and Wave that Race costs si- more money. <laughs> Wave Race sixty four not brought to you by Kawasaki on the virtual console. Could they not afford the licensing for Team? Green? No, Kawasaki <laughs> was killed in 9-11. Uh, <laughs> along, so along with sorry. irony. They were in Tower 2. Yeah. <laughs> what's this next commercial now? What? Now, the, the Final Fantasy 3, which, again, what's, oh, the, right. what's the legacy yeah. of Final Fantasy 3? Amazing yeah. RPG, maybe the best 2D Final Fantasy. Yeah, I was going to mention during your sound thing, but the opera sequence in that game. The opera yeah. sequence, yeah. yes. Bow, bow, bow. The opera. <laughs> yes, one of the most, like, one of, like, it, at that point in games, that was maybe, like, one of the best moments in games, period, was that opera house scene. And... I get it, thanks to the Sony sound chip, but then the commercial advertising the game has to <laughs> has to sit in with their advertising marketing because it's an ex- it's an exclusive game. It's a big release. It needs to contain the same message. Even though the Secret of Mana commercial a year earlier was this great, like, beautifully animated, showed the mana tree, showed the pink flamingos flying everywhere. In America, looked, yeah, it's a gorgeous commercial. But this was, uh, but this was before, and like this Pokemon is and Dragon year. Ball made anime okay. Oh well, America. yeah. yeah. Um, this year, Final Fantasy three, the commercial, and it's hard to advertise a pre seven Final Fantasy because they don't have those cutscenes. You can't go to that, yeah. so it's hard. I agree, but and if you look at the graphics, like what's all these t- text boxes? Everything's. Lo- <laughs> when do I get to play? So, <laughs> it's Just floating profile heads. Yeah, from the it's it's Mog the Moogle. Who's a ma- who is a character in the oh, game? Oh, I do remember that. And he's ha- in the commercials. He's having tryouts for villains, but it, <laughs> it's literally yes, it's literally like a robot uh, chicken. It, if you watch it now, it's wow, like it, it, yeah. it is a robot chicken bit done Ooh. in 1994. Wow. Mo- Mo- Mog is has that same mouth, the, the mouths that robot chicken do, where they just draw teeth yeah. and keep animating them. It's that, and his accent. Okay, kid, show me what you got. I'm filled with mage. And he is like he. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> he needed a cigar. So this is him just like, he has an attitude. He has an attitude. In the, ki- in the game, he's just, Koopa! Like, he's, yay, Moogles! <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Next. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that sucks. Next. 
Like it's he goes in a row. Just I always imagine mm. Moogles are what like Karen Carolyn sees when she gets hit and flies <laughs> her head. <laughs> saying Koopa, Koopa, Koopa. <laughs> yes, it was, so, it was it better like than the end campaign for Final Fantasy IV, which I remember just being a giant magazine ad that says Ogopogo lives. Yes. Will you? <laughs> I remember that. Oh no, I remember. No, a, yes. I remember a worse one for Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, which was mm. in the comic books a just a photo of a cow's face, and then it says, <laughs> "Oh, like, I remember that." Even the cows yeah. know something's wrong. Something's weird. Something something's big wrong. is coming. Something big is coming. Final no, Fantasy the, Mystic Quest. The like, other what? Ad, the other ads big were like coming. Brain Lube thirty nine ninety nine, and they were like, <laughs> "You want a you want an easy game? This one's only forty bucks, and it's Final Fantasy for all you jerks who don't know how to play games." So right. <laughs> guaranteed to have a clerk swatted out of your hand. It's if Final you Fantasy for baby. It really, yeah, I like Mystic Quest. <laughs> Made but, in America. Yes, called uh, Final Fantasy USA in Japan. So more m- more Mog being uh, just a needless fucking attitude added to a character that had no right having one. Oh, scary. Next. 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 It this goes on and it's, on. It just reminds me of that uh, The Simpsons where they go to the Malibu Stacy factory and there's the two workers. <laughs> Leroy, get your ass over here. There's a yes. dog in the torso. Shoot. <laughs> uh, shut your file. <laughs> Fantasy three. Do you have what it takes? Do you have what it? It's like, shut the. F- will you ad- <laughs> Will you please advertise it on the back of like this engrossing yeah. tale that you're going to talk about for twenty years? No, it yeah. needs to just next. be next, 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 next. Oh, well, they didn't. Sega, have- Sega, Sega, next, <laughs> next. <laughs> That's the 90s. That whole yes, thing. Oh, they didn't have any cool yes. cut scenes to show off. Oh, and then let's throw this in there. <laughs> the, the 90s made perfect sense until they learned how to master it. Like,